but we'll see what those are and where they decide to show up. Oh, wow, I just picked up a bunch of really good stuff. Quick equip change. Yes. Uh, I don't like the stuff drop there. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be changing that equipment around until I get something that will Oh my. Until I get something that's socketed so I can put another uh, ruby type in there. Just because the rubies give me extra experience, so it'll help me level faster, help me get more runes, and help me get towards the level 70 stuff and we can kind of like once we get to that point, which I don't know if we ever will, but once we get to that point, the options for customization open up so much that it ends up, oh wow, I took some serious damage there. The customization options open up so much My at that point that it becomes really beneficial at that point to spend a lot of time in town and, Jesus, this is a uh, dire, for lack of a better term. Oh, they were molten and arcane enchanted? Jesus, man. Let's let that explosion go off and grab it another weapon here. Sky Gnaw, not better than anything else I have going on here. Okay. That wasn't too bad. We didn't die or anything. And dying is, uh... While it will be the end state of this character's stream, the character will die at some point. I've said that before. Um, hopefully it'll be after I've cleared out everything and I'm running like rifts and stuff with it. Because once, if I get this character, if I beat the game with this character, I will start running rifts with this character and I will start running it in like online co-op. Because this character needs to die and it's going to, it's going to die on stream whether it wants to or not. She can beg all she wants, boys. She's still taking it in the end. Har, har, har. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. It's okay, though. The internet is full of far worse people. Not just the internet, the whole goddamn planet. Yeah, buddy. Grenades for the win. Oh, we're gonna go down there and fight some stuff. We're gonna fight some stuff. I might throw my grenades through the windmill over there, although that is cool. That is neato. Yeah, buddy. The grenades feel satisfying. Oh, there's a boss up top. Oh, that's shooting artillery at me, or fireballs, whatever you want to call it, shut up. You're not my dad, you can't tell me what to call things. Got the rain of arrows here. And get up here and rapid fire fast. There we go, clear out a bunch of these guys at once. Man, I wish I could keep that, no, what? We got a plan for something extremely important. Two-handed mighty weapon. Well, that's worthless for me now. Like, that would only be useful if I was running other hardcore characters, a barbarian specifically, but... That would not be wise. Fuck it. This won't be my last hardcore character, I think. Although, the only real reason I play hardcore, I mean, yes, it's more challenging. But, I mean... I don't like the idea that if I screw up once, you know, in normal play, when I'm not doing it for a purpose, like a stream or a video or something like that, I don't like the idea that once my character goes down, that's it. Because then, if I have people who are like, who want to play with me, it's just like, well, I gotta make another one, because I did something really stupid, and now I'm dead. And that's just not my kind of fun. Not my kind of fun at all, sir. But I am having I am going to have fun while this lasts, definitely. Alright, we've cleared out over there, we need to head over this way. We need to find the Forgotten Ruins specifically. So that's the dungeon we're looking for. 
And I don't think it's close, but I don't think it's too far off either. Which has said absolutely nothing of value. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, there's a little group of people over here to fight. Throw grenades at. Very cool skills, but my favorite skill set is by far is still the damn witch doctors. Just because it's like the craziest bullshit are his skills. Calling up, calling up a swamp full of deadly piranhas underneath your enemies, like fucking amazing. And then you can get a room that makes the piranhas zombies and makes them jump out of the water at people. Badass. Absolutely super duper. Oh, this is trouble. Man, you fuckers need to die. Oh, I just gotta take my hand off the controller. Oh, there we go. We're better now. Everybody's problems have been fixed. By everybody's, I mean mine. Hardy, hardy, har. Let's see what we got going over here. We'll get to this eventually. Just happy to be able to get some decent experience going at this point, really. The Fallen are fun enemies to fight. My hatred is too low. Granted, in this game, you burn through them so quickly that you don't really get to see their gimmick, but they have a cool gimmick with the whole Fallen Shaman resurrecting the other ones. I don't know if they can resurrect masters, but I know they can resurrect peons. But the majority of my knowledge on how they behave in the game is based on how they behaved in the second game. But the fact and the deranged fallen are pretty cool too. Oh god, those explode! We need to stay away from those. Those are bad. Alright, no more play. We cannot deal with any more of those explodey guys. Oh my god! No, I will not there we that. go. Ah, that uh, was a little less of a fight than I expected it to be. Fucking exploding guys. Oh, they keep jumping out of the water. What the hell? That's strange. Oh man, how'd I miss that? I mean, I can't equip it, but how did I miss that? The sentries end up having some really cool, really effective runes later on that you can get. Um, if I remember correctly, one of them causes it so that the uh, enemies you're fighting can't get through them. I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I've really looked in depth at uh, uh, Demon Hunter skills. Uh, my buddy Tony X07 in the uh, stream chat frequents uh, our channel here. Um, he mains a witch, or not a witch doctor, he mains a Demon Hunter and he knows all that stuff so if he was here he'd be able to tell us but uh, he's probably sleeping right now so. Sweet. Unless we can somehow get him to rise to come join the stream. I don't think we'll be getting that information right away. You know what? I can look at it. Alright. Chain of Torment creates a chain between you and the sentry and between each sentry that damages enemies that touch the chain. The damage enemies that touch... Polar Station. The turret chills nearby enemies. That might be what I'm thinking about. And then the turret creates a shield that reduces damage taken by allies. So that one's a pretty good, that's a pretty good skill for, for that. We got Shade and Elisa, powerful torrent of arrows from the sky. So that just makes it more damage. We can try that. That'll be a uh, cool still to, a skill to try. 
Okay, instead of summoning a rain of arrows, you summon shadow beasts that swoop along the ground and damage enemies they hit. Summon a single shadow beast that hovers overhead and drops grenades. I've seen that one. It looks cool, but I don't remember how effective it is. The last one is flying strike. Call shadow beasts to plummet from the sky and bomb the target location, freezing, freezing enemies in the area. That one's a cool one. Oh, this is the skill Tony uses. This one's actually, uh... Oh, it's actually a really cool skill, a really good one. He uses it over on our uh, level 70s and uh, non-hardcore when we run uh, greater rifts and whatnot. Grifts, we've uh, taken to calling them. Probably some portion of the internet has taken to calling them that as well, but... Come on. Look at the damage that causes. It's really good for bigger areas. So once we, err for area of effect, so once we get, uh... Once we get to the third and fourth act, when they start throwing huge swarms of enemies at us at once, uh, that's when we'll see the most benefit of skills like that. Man, those turrets are so badass. Love those goddamn turrets. That would not be wise. Ooh. New gloves. Bad gloves. Worthless gloves, even. Fudge it. They can be used as crafting materials. I really like that part of the game. It's like, even if you pick up gear that sucks, you can always put it towards something else. Something you want. And I appreciate that from a design standpoint. I think it's pretty neato. That pretty much anything you do progresses your character in some meaningful way. Experience, better gear, stuff to allow you to make better gear. Socketable items, gems. Like you never, until you hit late game where it takes so much experience for you to get anything, you never feel like anything you're doing is not... Oh shit. Oh, I saw that explosion. I thought I had died. <laughs> Excuse me. It's nice to always feel like you're progressing. It's nice to always feel like you're progressing without a thousand teeny little bars ticking up. I hate I hate progression like that. Where there's all sorts of different things you're progressing, and while you may have a main progression that you're doing, it's always little bars. And that's how it is. Ooh, there's a treasure goblin over there. Uh, we're going to take out these guys first. Uh, we gotta burn him down faster. Oh yeah, I forgot about this skill. Oh Jesus, man. Fuck that. Fuck everything about that. Oh shit, treasure goblin. Oh wow, that was really, really fast. Oh good, new stuff for our follower here. Wow, that's garbage compared to what he has, never mind. Anything new for him to equip here? Nay. Nothing good. Oh yeah, I do have new skills, huh? Oh well, we just changed our skills. I'm not too worried about changing our skills. Too much here. Right away, anyways. What do we got up here? Some sort of special event? I think so, yeah. Oh hey, Shrine of Rakanishu. This one's actually a really cool one. Uh, Rakanishu was a boss slash demigod that is impossible. from the uh, from the second game. It's also a fallen. It's like a fallen demigod, basically. And by fallen, I don't mean fallen like like fallen angel fallen. I mean like one of these stupid little imp things. 
Hey, there he is.